So that's the G-Wagon. So right now, I'm going to Milan. I'm, I just came from Monaco. And then this man is saying that this is the only car that has, he has seen in 21 years doing this long distance. So you know, I'll do about 13,000 kilometers. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gracious, and I have here with me Efuando. Yes, yes, yes. History have made us uh, 13 Ghanaians took a trip from Ghana, Accra to United Kingdom, Europe. Uh, yeah, it has it has been a history in uh, the part of Ghana and then the whole of Africa as well. This is a very long trip, 10,000 kilometers. Yeah. That's no joke, by car, by road, going through the African countries, crossing the Mediterranean, uh, Mediterranean Sea by a ferry and then heading into Spain, straight into Monaco, then into UK. That's uh, what we have for you today. We'll talk about it, a whole lot of videos uh, on social media. We'll talk about it and then let's ride on the train. Uh, the full story into details with Efua. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. So the 13 Ghanaians um, comprised of 12 men and then a woman. Yeah. And their names are Efua Sewa Eduse. That's the only female. Be the only female. Mm -hmm. Apparently, she didn't get to um, UK. UK with them. She stopped at Morocco. She covered um, approximately 5,650 kilometers of the, okay, that's half of of the, the total. Journey. Yes, so that's half of the journey. And well, we also found out that Nane Fua Sewa Eduse, um, so she joined the trip mm -hmm. for her to master her arts as an auto repair technician. Oh, okay. Yes, so she's indirectly a mechanic. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So she had her own um, um, aspirations for joining and she, she, she's also known as She Can. Then that she no sorry she mm -hmm. and she is like her brand name. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, so after she literally she which is a female. Yes. Intertwined mm -hmm. with mechanic. So yes. she can oh, Okay. Yes. Wow. She that's, can. That it sounds yes. good though. Yes. So yes. Yeah, so after she got to Morocco, mm -hmm. she posted on her Instagram that this was how much distance she was able to mm -hmm. cover. So for those of you who think that she was actually with them, oh, okay. Um, to London, she didn't get to London. She stopped at Morocco. And this is what we know about her so far. The other people we've identified so far are Saka of Saka Homes, a real estate develop, uh, wow. developer in Ghana, Kwabna Pepra, Fred Papa Kofi, Richard Kwame Pepra, Kofi Pepra, a lot of Pepras, you know. Uh, there is Kojo Praka Asanti, mm -hmm. Franklin Peters, and his son, Quincy Joseph Cypren Ed, Kwabna Rebi, and his brother Kojo. Uh, so far the people we've identified on the group and you know it's obvious that these people are well to do kind yeah they are moguls yeah a lot of them are into real estate and then huge businesses mm -hmm. so challenge yeah you have the leisure the time you are an entrepreneur you have the aha uh -huh. this is what is meant by time and money freedom <laughs> this is what we call time freedom like they travel all over the place. They have yeah. been around. One of the interview, uh, in one of the interview, the, one of the guys said they have uh, circled around Ghana for more than five times. They have mm. traveled all of the regions more than five times. This is what time freedom is all about. You make the money. You are not doing nine to five, like I'm doing. You are not stuck <laughs> somewhere. No. And the money is coming like uh, uh, thirties, but going like, like a cheetah. No. <laughs> They have their money working for them. Yeah. Like real estate is big, bro. They are making it and yeah. this is it. You have you explore the world. The cars alone they use for the trip and not, it's, it's, it's huge. Know? Land cruises. Yes. Toyota, so, two, Toyota Land Cruises. Five vehicles in all a Lexus, yeah. a Lexus RX, a Ford Raptor pickup mm -hmm. truck, um, a Mercedes Benz G Class. That car challenge. A that Toyota G Land Cruiser. Uh -huh. yeah. Well others are using it to flex and do chill people are using it for for the reason why the car was made is for road trips mm -hmm. huge heavy duty road trips like this one yeah but i was surprised when the lexus also made it because i thought that car would break down uh, <laughs> that car would break down <laughs> but i did my research and i got to know that lexus is a brand under toyota mm. so 
no cap about that toyota products are good in africa we have more toyota cars in africa than anywhere in the world so yeah they made it also oh that's great um so i started seeing um the news about this expedition i think mm -hmm. someone last week on twitter i, I was seeing a lot of a crack to london mm -hmm. hashtags and i i wasn't sure what was going on but then i wasn't too um curious to stop and read mm -hmm. so i just went across it and then i think my interest started um arising i think just about four days ago when i decided to read more about it and know what was actually going on mm -hmm. You know, I think this year has been like a historic or iconic year, sort of. The first there was Hilda Bassi cooking for yeah, Africa, uh, yeah. 100 hours, and then now it's 12 men and a woman um, leaving Accra to London mm -hmm. by road. So it's still the Ghana Niger vibes now. Well, Basi is in of. Nigeria, and then Basi is still Ghana, Ghana, yeah, Nigeria. Yeah, we yeah, still a lot of we are brothers feats. in Africa, in the world. Yeah, a lot of feats being reached this year. Well, and this one was also for a good. Um, it was for a good purpose. Mm -hmm. So, according to these men, they are trying to raise money mm -hmm. um, to um, digitalize um, communities in Africa, okay. as in Ghana, okay. trying to build um, computer-based libraries oh, okay. to, you know, keep the um, digital divide in Ghana because the world is really advancing yes. very fast and then exactly. those kids in the village yeah. and the rural areas have been like uh, they are being left behind mm -hmm. so their initiative is to make these digital devices available for them so that they will advance and follow the world as the world goes into the digital and the AI space as which well. is definitely a good course yeah. yes and well they say money have started coming in but they haven't given an actual figure, figure as to how much in, they yeah. have received so far but i think people are going to support, yeah, them, because support them this has gathered a lot of attention from all across you know the country and the world at large yes i think this is for a good cause and you know it started off like um, a fun trip yeah. right yes and these men are actually passionate about traveling exploring they they the ridiculous thing is they even go for funerals of uh, like attend funerals where they don't know the yes. the people they for just the, hear yeah. of a funeral and then they just want to go and explore mm -hmm. the township and so they drive they are gone to you know go and have fun and which is that well, freedom if you are doing 95 you definitely can't do you can't that do come on this. bro you can't <laughs> so find but, another source of income yeah, like a side hustle for your, yeah. your nine to five. Uh -huh. You just you just hear challenge. of a funeral going somewhere, uh, going yeah. on somewhere, and yeah, the whole team. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you just they just. And then one thing I've also noticed that that all the cars they use are for, are foreign cars. We have the Toyota that's from Japan. Then we have a Lexus also from Japan. Mm. Uh, Ford Raptor is a U.S. made car. Mm. Then we have a Mercedes uh, the G63 that's also from Germany. Mercedes is a German brand as well mm. come to think of it we have kantanka yeah that's the main car uh, company in in ghana well, so yeah. why why uh, well not, true yeah. i actually read that um the kantanka or mama suv was mm -hmm. supposed to be part of the entourage however the the boss who is kantaka's son, son yeah. turned down um, an opportunity to meet with the team and wow. finalize the whole arrangement. Meaning they requested, like, they went there to, to yes, get them involved. What yeah. I have read so far, yes. It was supposed to be part of the interact, but they messed out big time. And I think wow. this is going to go against Seriously, it because, because it's a very big opportunity breakthrough yes. for them to blow, like, imagine Kataka made it to that place, bro. Exactly. Imagine the purchase and the orders they will get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not only from Ghana, but from the meaning we have that kind of European standard. Like your, it will blow big time. Because aside the fact that this is for philanthropy mm -hmm. works, it is also a way or an avenue for the the men on mm -hmm. board who are businessmen yeah. to also sell their businesses to yeah. the world at large, right? So they are not as for fun, however, yeah. but you know they it's have a whole other, lot of this embedded yes, into it. because you know they wouldn't just wake up one day and decide to drive. There a lot of, of, of planning mm -hmm. went on, and so and they invested a lot of yes. money, effort, time. I hear the cars are even going to be 
shaped or something yeah. back to they were yesterday I, I saw because they wanted to auction it in uk a company oh, okay. wanted to auction it but they were asking should they auction it there or they should ship them back, back. Okay. to ghana yeah and one comment uh, comment i read said they should ship it back to ghana where the ghana tourism authority will pay for it mm. and these cars will be put in a museum oh wow these are the history making cars and that's what the white big guys uh, the uh, white guys sometimes they do but wait do you think it's actually a good idea to auction those no sorry to put them on display they are foreign cars do you think it's right for us to put foreign cars on display okay now? looking at the african we are uh, that's where the kantanka uh, this thing comes in yes. imagine for kantanka cars yes exactly putting them on display excellent it's a great idea yeah. but i don't i don't particularly buy into the idea of putting those cars on the uh, display because that's a good form Advertise. of marketing yes. or advertising yeah. for these giving the cars. trip alone advertise mercedes and exactly. the capabilities that's of true. toyota come on yeah that's that's enough you know we are going to advertise our kantanka later <laughs> they missed out on a very huge yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, seriously. Yeah. I, I see me. Yeah, I was pained when, mm -hmm. seriously, I read the post and I was like, no way. They ignored, they have missed a huge opportunity yeah. to, to that's, that's make their true. brand global. Mm. They've missed up, they've messed up a, a very huge uh, marketing and business opportunity yeah. as well. But, yeah, I, on the flip side, they may, uh, they know the capabilities of their cars. Mm. And then they know the strength and the weakness of these cars. Mm -hmm. This journey is not easy. Yeah. And looking at the terrains they were going through, they, uh, on the BBC interview, this guy, well, the road, some of the roads were so bad. bad. Going through Ivory Coast and then the rest of Africa, the roads were very bad. And the videos, come on, the cars were covered, covered in, in mud. Dust, yeah. Whoa, it, it was, it was, it was somehow. So I think I think they knew the strength of their cars. So Charlie. Or do you think they, they perhaps the cars are not very strong and so they didn't want to risk it or something? <laughs> I, I, I think so, yeah. Because even so, the cars, or they didn't drive non stop, mm -hmm. right? They will stop yes, along the at line, borders, cross borders, cars yeah. and all that. So, even so, I think they still should have given it a try, you know. Once they didn't drive, like let's say continuously, continuously mm -hmm. they stopped, service the cars, and it means that. It still could have been a part of the entourage, mm -hmm. and then along the line, the servicing will come in. But the amount of kilometers they cover before stopping at the border, imagine uh, taking that ride from the southern part of Ivory Coast mm. to northern Ivory Coast, that's huge. Yeah. And for that, they don't stop because they have entered Ivory Coast, they did their estate passage, mm -hmm. so straight, that's a lot of kilometers yeah. right there. They said they were driving 12 to 16 hours daily. Non-stop. Yeah. Yeah. Unless they will stop for, for a refueling or something. Yeah. yeah. And shout out to the mechanics who service those cars in mm -hmm. Ghana. I Meaning Ghana we have we have a lot. Yeah, we do. They service those cars and then bro, there was no breakdown. Everything was smooth and they, they went through to UK. That, that that's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great guys. Well, there we have it. Gracious and I will be coming your way with another interesting video. We hope that you enjoyed this one. Um, let us know what you think about these travels so far. And what are your thoughts? Would you dare be on That's what I just... <laughs> a journey like this? Because me, the way I'm Fiero ED, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I can do And this. now they have opened the way. They have shown you the way. No more plane tickets. But guys, don't make the mistake. <laughs> it is the way, but it is not the easy way. Yes. Because you, need to, you need to have money. Those people are business moguls. Yeah. They have the cash. They have millions in their account. They have money. Yeah. So, <laughs> so let us know your comments. Like our video and share with your friends and loved ones. And please do comments. Thank you for watching the video with yes. me, Efua Ando, and and Gracious right here. And do also to visit www.navantrix.com. All the services of Navantrix are there: digital marketing, photography, videography, uh, graphic design, website, and responsive app development uh, offered on Navantrix Limited. Go onto the website and get your digital needs sorted out. Uh, yes, that's it. See you guys in the next episode. Peace. Salut. Bye.